Lesson 3. Star Schema Mining. Create new project. Create a workflow. Drag and drop the data source node onto the workflow pane. Click the Add Schemas button. In the Edit Schemas list, Move SH from the list of available schemas to the list of selected schemas. Then, click OK. Select the Include Tables from Other Schema option. Select the Customers table. Once again, drag and drop the data source node from the component palette onto the workflow pane. Scroll down in the available list and select the sales table. Aggregate data. Save the project. Drag and drop the aggregate node to the workflow canvas. Connect the aggregation and data source nodes. Double click the aggregate node to display the edit aggregation window. Click edit to open the edit group by window. With column selected as the type value, move cust ID from the available attributes list to the selected attributes list. Then, 
click OK. Click the aggregation wizard tool to launch the wizard. Select some from the numerical function list and click next. Move quantity sold and amount sold from the available attributes list to the selected attributes list, and click next. With column selected as the type value, move prod ID from the available attributes list to selected attributes list, and click next. Change the node name to Aggregate Sales. Right click on Aggregate Sales and select Run to run the aggregation. Join data sources. Open the transforms section of the component palette and next drag and drop the join node to the workflow canvas. Using the property inspector, name the node join data. Connect the customers and aggregate sales data source nodes to the join data. To define the join, double click the join data node to open the edit join details window. Next, click the plus. Select customers in the source 1 box, and aggregate sales in the source 2 box. To define the join columns, select Cust ID as the join column in both Source 1 and in Source 2. Next, click the Add button to populate the Join Columns box. The dialog determines that the join type is inner. Next, right-click Join Data and select Run from the pop-up menu to create the join.
create an output table. Open the data section of the component palette. Then, drag and drop the create table or view node to the workflow canvas. Connect the joint data node to the output node. Double click the output node, name the output table fast table, ensure that table is selected as the type. Right click fast table and select run. Build and run classification models. Add a classification node to the workflow and connect it to the fast table node. Select Cust Gender as the target attribute. Modify Kernel Function option for support vector machine algorithm by using the Advanced button. Change the setting from System Determined to Linear. In the Models tab of the Properties Inspector, you can see the current status for each of the selected algorithms. Run the node.
Once the build process is complete, you can view several pieces of information about the build using the property inspector. View the models. The performance matrix shows that the SVM and GLM models have a higher correct prediction percentage than the other models. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learnwithvideotutorials.com